Hello everyone, uh, Demis here. I'm um, bringing you a game at EU4. I want to try and uh, play as the uh, new hordes using the uh, new patch mechanics of uh, the Cossacks DLC. And I'm pretty excited to try this out, so let's uh, jump right in. Uh, Iron Man, of course. Normal, our Iron Man. Okay, there we go. What are we going to call this? Uh... March of the Hordes. Sure. Okay. Man. It looks pretty cool. There's some new updates in this patch. Uh, if you haven't played E4 in a while, or if you haven't uh, bought the new patch, uh, essentially they are new diplomatic options. So if we go to the diplomacy screen, we have this new tab here, show diplomatic feedback. In this tab here, we can uh, mark provinces that we think are ours, and we can see the same thing for any other um, any other nation. So if you go to, like the diplomacy, we see that Oriat Horde. They see they think all all, their, all my provinces are their provinces, and the same thing for all of these here. And uh, for no guy, they they want some of ours. So this is kind of a, a very interesting way to see how the AI feels about the player, which I think is pretty neat. Um, so let's see, let's first say that no guy, uh, well, you're kind of friendly towards me, but you are definitely the, uh, okay, yeah, Kazan, I think Kazan will be the first person I take over, try and get, uh, let's take some of those, let's claim all these provinces here. Orient, yeah, we'll, we'll take all of your provinces as well. Uh, see if we can get some alliances against you, wait till you're weak fighting the Ming or something, and we'll come and just stomp you so hard. Uh, do I want to deal with the Ming right now? No, I don't really want to piss off the Ming right now. They could be an interesting temporary ally. Um, just mark all of this as mine. Let all the AI know that Siberia belongs to the Uzbek. And Korea. Get that there. We'll not grab Ming's provinces yet. Okay, so we've said all of that. We're going to claim all of Perm, all of Muscovy. We can probably make allies out of Novgorod. They might be good people to kind of grab. Especially useful against this uh, Muscovite kind of horde later in the game. Uh, so let's see. Our enemies are Orya and Yarkand. Let's see, where's the Yark end? Right here. Okay, so yeah, all your all your territory will be mine as well. And now we move to get out of that screen. Who are your enemies? Your rivals are Uzbek. Oh, you can my Oh, Chagatai, I see. Chagatai, so yeah. Uh, you will like me. Go to Alliance Options, open all these tabs. For some reason, they're all closed at the beginning of the game, who knows why. Um, okay, Yarkand. We are going to... So we're going to get an alliance, maybe with Chagatai. We'll see how this kind of region goes down. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to rival back. Yarkand, because they are tiny. They're Compared to us, they're way smaller. Okay, Timurids. It's a little bit, a little bit nervous. I don't really want to deal too much with them right now. Golden Horde. Yeah, let's. Okay, we're already friendly. Novgorod. Let's go and manually change. Probably to you is friendly. And let's 
improve some relations with you. Uh, Lithuania, probably gonna have better Poland, just the way it always is. Oh, some, uh, I guess because the Agido is here and Venice is there, that's why I can see them. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Who else is my enemy? There we go. And view your country, y'all. It's such a great change. That's new in this patch as well, I believe. Okay, so your rivals are as well Chagatai. So Chagatai might be might be a potential ally, but I don't think they have very much base tech, so they probably don't have a very large. Let's see. Yeah, they're not going to have a very large force limit, so we'll hold off for now. now. Let's see, let's see what missions. Taraz, where is Taraz? It's going to be on our border somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to war with Yarkand. That's happening. Okay. Got the title of Khalifa. Gain piety. Gain piety. Rid of that uh, shamanist. What's our income? Nine. What's our force limit here? Force limit. We could still do ten more. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, something also that's really cool with the patch is uh, the ability to rally troops to certain places. I don't really like how much uh, infantry we have. As a horde, what's really cool is you can have only... Or you don't even need to have any infantry. Uh, it's actually much better to have only cavalry, just because it might be a little bit more expensive, but the cavalry units, as we can see... Uh, let's go here. We can just see that cavalry does a lot more damage at the start of the game. And as well, you can see that for our... I think we want more, uh, or no, we want shock damage a lot more, that's uh, troop damage. Okay, so they have, as you can see, six total pips, and then these guys here only have four total pips, so they're not anywhere near as good. Um, they're about two-thirds as good, so it's, it's just not worth it. And, let's see, he's pretty good, I think we'll... We'll hold on to him for a bit. Probably going to be conquest focused, so let's put some admin points in there. Uh, states. So this is a this is a new kind of feature in this patch: is the states. You decree them provinces, and they expect to control a certain number or a certain percentage of your overall land. And when they control that, you can get bonuses from them. But you just have to be really, really careful that their influence level, the amount of influence they have, as you can see, if it goes, as you can see in the tooltip, as if it goes above 80, then you're in trouble. They'll start trying to seize control of your country. It's a disaster and just, it's not a good time for anyone. And then this loyalty meter, um, it affects basically what kind of bonuses they give. And if overall their loyalty is above between 30 and 60, you get additional man cover, reco manpower recovery speed, which is great as a horde. If you if, it's, if you can get it above 60, you can get some cavalry cost reduced as well. So then it just makes it even more incentive to have a cavalry heavy army, which is kind of what I want to go for. So let's train up as many as we can. Looks like I can train up four. Yep, and too few rivals, so we're gonna set Oriat and. He said Kazan is going to die, so that's happening. Uh, can we offer you an alliance? Who's back the Golden Horde? Consider the same 18 provinces to be of vital interest. Okay, let's go back to that screen. Okay, so we want... Do they want... They expect Muscovy. Okay, so we will... We'll just remove Muscovy and Ryzen for now. 
and they'll still, they won't mind too much. Yeah, okay. So, can we still be friends? Offer alliance, yes. Oh, okay. And they're, they, they got a buff, actually, in one of the patches, so Golden Horde is much better in the early game now. So we'll give you, we'll get you in alliance with you. Let's improve relations with the Ottomans. Timurids is a lost cause. Kazan. Let's, let's take a look at the development. Is there anything in Yarkand that is worth fabricating on? Yes, this one here. Okay. Or can we even? No, we can't. Okay, so we don't need to fabricate either. And because we already have a claim, let's just move down this way. Yarkand, you don't have any allies. You're gonna be pretty boned, I think. Your monthly income is still great, so let's get... Well, we can't afford any advisors now, that's fine. And we want a general... I mean, not, not bad, not bad. Two shock, two fire. Fire isn't actually worth anything, I believe, in the early game. Uh, it takes a few uh, tech levels before we can even really get anywhere with it. Okay, let's go back up to normal speed. Let's see, what do we want to do with our final... Final, uh... Final Diplomat. Are we going to... No, there's no point in fabricating there. Let's... You know what? Let's... Might as well improve relations with Chagatai, and... In time, we can, uh... Maybe use them against the, either the Oriat or the, uh... Or Yarkand, if Yarkand stays around. Royal Marriage? No. We're... It's gonna be a temporary alliance. All these alliances are gonna be very temporary. Okay, let's get everyone in... Nadium? Nadium? I'm, I'm really sorry if I'm terribly butchering this. And we will go from there. Okay. Oh. Supply limit. Can't handle it. I made a mistake. Okay, and then let's get two horses in there. One guy over there. And where's my last one coming? There he is. limit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 10 influence. Gotta be worried about that a little bit. No, you're going there. You're going there. You're going there. Okay. You just still don't have any allies? No, you do not. And you're entirely Sunni. Yeah, I think... What's your war score cost? Twelve, ten, nine, eight, ten. Yeah, I think we can we can pretty much absorb this whole country this war. So let's get to it. Uh, let's get the leader in charge here. And oh, uh, let's take a Chagatai back. We'll send him back after we're done. And there we go. And Tribal Conquest is actually, as a horde, it's the best. Um, all you really need to do is not lose, which ideally you won't be losing battles. Um, and you get, I mean, it's much better for aggressive expansion. Uh, you can take all provinces, monetary, reparations, force vassalage or protectorate, it's just very good. Um, unfortunately, we'll, our piety will be taking a little bit of a hit, which means our conversion speed of these shamanist provinces will be slightly slower, but I think it's overall worth it. And we're going to take, we're going to show superiority, and do we need the Golden Horde? Can we, can we even? No, they won't join anyway. So let's go. Okay. Fly limits. Okay, so you're good to move into there. 
So after you've moved in and moved out for a little bit, I will have the next guys come and join you. Okay. They're committed. Okay. Oh. We want to... No, we don't want to take that fight. We do want to take this one, though. And possibly that one into us. You can take your, uh... Take your steps. Sit on Taraz. Okay. No, we're just, we're just gonna keep moving. We're gonna take... Take that province and go. I mean, why not take your mountains? Yeah, we, we have plenty of room there. Shagatai. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna just move there. Hopefully what he's gonna come and try and do is... That's a pretty great air. 424? Yes, please. Yeah, hopefully he's gonna try and take Taraz and then move into our territory. And then we can just smack him down because hordes as well get bonuses to defending in their own flatlands, which this is what Uzbek is. It's just flatlands. So as long as we're fighting defensively, we're not going to lose. Which, I mean, the AI probably should realize that he's only going to lose if he... Oh, man. Okay, we are going to gauge that. Free kill of a cavalry. I'll take it. Oh. If I move this guy in, can I scare you? Oh, I don't even need to move him in. Okay, let's move you into Ukend. And that there is Wasteland, so I can't actually move onto there, but... Oh, there's an industry capital right there, so, I mean... It's not going to be that hard to just take your capital, ruin your war enthusiasm, kill your... Oh, I'm paused. Maybe I'll just slow down to three. Or no, I'm at three. I'll slow down to two. Keep it at three. Just ruin your war enthusiasm. Yeah. And... Oh, he just took it back. Oh, Muscovy... Did he declare war? Yes, he just declared war on Kazan. Kazan, Timurids. Oh, Kazan is allied to the Timurids. Oh, man. I... <laughs> That's gonna be fun. You know what? Can I give you military access? No. What can I give... No? Nope. Can't give anyone military access, so it doesn't matter. Or yet declared war on Chagatai. Oh, that's not good for me. Well, it's not good for them either. We'll see how this goes. Usually, it's a little bit of a back and forth. Well, it might be interesting to see how that develops. But uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we finally uh, isolate and destroy the Arkans army and uh, win the war. Have a good one.